Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Jeanette the Panda Treasures and I'm going to be doing a few more jewelry items. Um, just, you know, getting the feel of this light box, which I love. I just love the lighting. I'll go back a little bit. Say hi. I've got some brooches here and I get a lot of lots and um, there's a lot of brooches. I've got containers full of brooches. Anyway, so um, I'm going to do a few of them um, here. Um, these are unnamed brooches. And these, some of these don't have names on them, but you know, they're cool. So, um, and then I also have a series, oh, there's a sterling ring. <laughs> I also have a series of um, charm bracelets vintage charm bracelets that I thought were pretty cool. So um, I thought we would look at those as well. Let me put this guy out. This one's, this is us. These are sterling findings on here. Nice, nice pieces of sterling with glass beads and a really cool clasp. I love that. So we'll look at that too. That one. Okay. So, um, I'm going to start off, I'm going to just like, um, maybe do a couple of brooches, um, all of these on this particular setup. These are all each, these are all $5 each. The burrow is on here because he's missing a stone right there. So, um, that's why he's five. But um, he's really cute, though. I don't know if you can. I can. I can tell that there's a stone missing, but only because I know it is. <laughs> but he's he's kind of cool. You know, he's about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. He's just a real pretty guy. Sparkling. See if I can get him to where my fingers aren't all in the way. But that's why he's on the $5 section. Let me get up close. I don't know if it's blurry. There you go. Not so blurry right there. He's really cute. Anyway, so he's five. We'll put him right there. Got some leaf tones. So our gold tone leaves. This one looks like it's probably goes that direction. I'll get up close. Try not to have my fingers too much in the way. And then there's the back. This one has a really nice straight pin. I know those are hard to come by on some of these vintage pieces. But it's um, you know a, a blown leaf, and there's the size. It's a pretty good size. It's two and a half by about two inches. Let's see if I can get it up there so that you can see it. So more five dollar items. This is a fish. He's got one of these kinds of clasps. So if you're interested in anything here that I am showing, just email jandapanda at comcast.net. Send me a screenshot, but obviously, um, you know, if you want the fish, just say, I want the fish. <laughs> I don't know if that's a mackerel or a salmon or, and there's the back. There's no markings on this one. He's pretty cool. And he's a good, good three and maybe even three and a half. Yeah, three and a half by an inch inch and a quarter. He's pretty cool. I have this one and this is on here. It, look at the gi ginormous pin here. It's not straight. That's one of the reasons why it's on here. It's got a double double bill rollover. And, um, but the pins, you know, it has some issues, but I don't know if that can be 
I mean, it's not super straight, but it works, see? But, um, and it does have kind of a catch there, so that might have to be like filed down a little bit. But this, I don't know if you can see it, it's not black. This is a navy blue. I don't know if you can see it very well. Maybe if I change my light, let's change the mode. See if I can get a brighter light on it. I don't know if you can see that. Just popped out of there. See if I can clasp it better. But yeah, this one's five. There's no maker's marks on any of these. If you can see the blue in that, it's really pretty. And there's the size. It's like two, well, two and a half wide by you know, an inch and a half high. It's really pretty. Let me see if I can get how close I can get. So yeah, screenshot, timestamp, email, jandapanda at comcast.net. Your shipping starts at $5 and it usually stays around $5 unless you buy a whole bunch. Then it has to go out small box or small package priority, but um, we can work through that. That's a pretty little one. It's got those um, etched piece that, you know, it's kind of etched there. So it's about a two by two. Interesting little leaf or a group of leaves. This is either, this is either a salamander or a gecko or some sort of lizardy kind of creature, chameleon. I know <laughs> Gina's probably singing, come a, come a, come a, come a, come a chameleon. But you can see where, you know, depending on what you're wearing, it's, you know, if you're wearing something bright colored underneath, you can see the color underneath the chameleon. I wonder, yeah, I have one of these. So you can see. Um, how he can change colors and blend with your dress. He's really cute. And he's in really good shape. He's not very old. And it's two inches wide by an inch and a half high. There's the back. And there's the front. Let's see how close I can get. You can see them. More leaves. This one. You can see how far the pin sticks out. This one doesn't look like it's been worn very much. Oh, it sticks out pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. It's sticking out. Uh, very shiny. And this one is two inches by an inch and a half. There's the front. And there is the back. Oh, this is a Napier. But he's little, so I'll, I'll sell him for five. He's on the $5 side. No problem. Most of my brooches are going to be right around $5. And then there's that. It's about, you know, an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter round. Nice little Napier knot. There's the front. And there's the back. This is an angel, and she's got some serious problems with her pin. does have a mark over here. Let me take a peek. See if I can make it out. I can't. 
I do see a copyright. But the, the pin, look at the pin. I don't know if you can see the pin. It needs some straightening. It needs some help. But it's a pretty angel with a crystal heart. Let's see how close I can get. Very cute. And it does have that those wires there to give that wing illusion illusion here is the measurements just keeping an eye on the time this one she stands about including the heart oh an inch and three quarters by about a little over an inch wide she does have a 3D effect. And there goes that pin. That's why she's five. She just needs a little work. They all do. Don't we all we'll get old? <laughs> this is a really cute little poodle. The pin is nice and straight. Let's see if I can get that in there. It's just super adorable. Cute little poodle pin. Don't know if you can see him well. He's tiny. Let's see if I can get him into focus. There we go. And there's the back. He's got a red bow, or he, she. And the size on this little pumpkin is about three quarters of an inch wide by a little over an inch high. Tiny, smallish. Yeah, five dollars. So this is the group is five dollars. I'm gonna put them in the bag right now so that I don't get them mixed up. Cleaning out the garage, I found a whole case of these. They're not Ziploc, but I'll take them. Because we, uh, you know, uh, on YouTube, as sellers, we go through a lot of baggies. So yeah, send me a screenshot or a timestamp. You can email Janda Panda, J-A-N-D-A-P-A-N-D-A, at Comcast.net. Um, shipping starts at $5 and it usually stays there. Um, and, um, depending on how much you purchase, you know, uh, it can still be $5. Um, and, um, yeah, email me, send me a timestamp or a screenshot, um, or just say, I want the fish <laughs> and we can go from there. So. We are done with this. Yeah, I know I had Sophia Loren here somewhere. And if I find her, I will show her to you. Mess over here. Okay. Let's do something different. I have some earrings. I have, these are napier and these guys are gonna they're uh, screw clip backs and i'll do seven dollars on the napier so just email me jandapanda at comcast.net screw backs napier seven bucks or seven dollars and they are marked, they're marked there and there, Napier. And they do have the, the screw backs with the, the clips. So you can adjust your own comfort level, which I love. Seven. 
These are Trafaris. And I think they might be crown Trafaris, but let's double check. Yes, crown Trafari with a copyright. And these are pierced. Goes this way. And the pearls and the crystal are there. So these also would be seven. And I, I'm, I'll put new backs on them because these don't look so great. I've got brand new backs. And I always check and make sure if they say Trafari, I always include them in the package. But yeah, they need new backs, and which I will do. But seven on the Trafaris. And get you some sort of a size. Size on the Napiers, I believe, are going to be under. These guys are under an inch around. And these guys are a little over an inch by an inch. Okay, I think that's it for the earrings. Let's do some bracelets. I came across a bunch of um, charm bracelets. And um, these are all shoes and boots. These are really cool. And do remember that I do um, gift wrapping and I have boxes and um, I can gift wrap anything for you. You can just go check out my gift wrapping video and uh, but this is fun i would do this for ten dollars it's cute cute little it's even got the so that's a nice little ten dollar christmas present put that in a box for you and what's nice is these boxes they have like that really nice plush cushy uh, not spongy but the cotton you know it, they're really nice so $10 on that, and it's adjustable, so I'm not even going to offer you a size. So that's pretty cool. I do have two identical Avon charm bracelets. So if you want one or both, let me know. Also, if you buy four items, you get one free. This is Fossil. I do the fossil for 10. Everything's marked fossil, fossil, fossil. It has a collection of charms here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let me see. There's like three charms hanging off of that charm. Then there's a telephone and it's got a little chain for the handset cord and this moves here too this articulates the dial and then there's a 54 key fossil so yeah this isn't bad everything's marked fossil everywhere even even the end of the the toggle so this would be 10 not bad for a fossil here's the bottom of the phone it says fossil on the back. Everything's marked fossil. So $10. I love charm bracelets. That's probably why I have so many. <laughs> All right, let's do some more charm bracelets. They're fun. This one is Something tops the Magic Kingdom, so that looks like it's probably a Disney charm. There's a bird with two green eyes. We have the graduation owl, a little basket with it looks like eggs. It's on a really nice um, chain. Do you see any marks? What does the chain say? There's something on this ring here. Oh, this says 12 karat gold filled. So I don't know if the charms are, they're not marked. So let me test it. You can email me if you want it. Um, 
I'll just test it to see, you know, how much of it is gold filled because it gold filled to me means it's a gold wash over sterling. So I will have to test that. But yeah, email me to send me a timestamp screenshot and we can go from there. I can't give prices on everything, <laughs> unfortunately, because, you know, sometimes I discover things right as you do. So this is really cool. These guys are fun. And actually, this one says, I think this is sterling. This one's sterling. There's a cable car. This is a sterling Florida. Little, little dancing doll here. These are little sterling baby shoes. This is sterling. Trollson Sterling. I don't know what that means. I don't know if the poodle's Sterling. There's really no way to tell. <laughs> um, happy birthday is not. Um, this is a, looks like a, is that a pineapple? Here's a little articulated turtle. It's got two green eyes. A puppy dog and a bell. So I've got, let me scratch this poodle. It might be sterling. It's showing a little bit of a blue to it. Love the baby shoes. I don't think anything else is. Well, it all might be sterling. That one doesn't, I don't think the pineapple is. Oh wait, there's a mark on the bottom. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm gonna do a little test here just to see. So the only ones that are sterling are the ones that are marked. So let me count. I think they run about, on average, about 20 to $25 a charm when you buy charms. So one, two, Two, one, two, three charms. So yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of hesitant to give a price, but um, you know, it's sterling. There's a couple of one, two, three. There's four sterling charms on here. So um, and I'm certainly not going to sell for. Oh, and it's a Monet on top of it. So it's a Monet bracelet with sterling charms on it. And they're all nicely spaced, which is nice. So I would do, I would do this one for 35. It's an excellent shape. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. So yeah, email me, jandapanda at comcast.net. Beautiful Monet. Love it. Look at all those pretties on there. And cute little baby shoes. Little sterling baby shoes. Adorable. So email me. I'll put that one aside. Watching the time. Hmm. About 25 minutes, I guess. We've got a few more minutes to go. Doesn't look like I went, like I went through much, but um, there's a lot of stuff. Let's do another pair of earrings. These are clip-ons, and I have um, new pads for these. 
so I can put on a new padding for it. These are say they're made in the USA. That's all they say. These are five. Five dollars for these little basket weebies. They're quite classic. Really nice. I don't know how close I can get. You can see the basket weaving on there. That's pretty cool. I like that because I can get it really close to you. And then I can see that everything is in focus. So, yeah, I have these cushions for the backs. And here's your size. They're inch round. Okay. This one, I don't know, this looks like it's in sad shape. Some of the charms one of the charms is missing if you're interested in this one this doesn't even have an articulated if you're interested just email me i'll get you a good price on it but it's really nice um bracelet i like the the double links on there so yeah email me And the panda at comcast.net. Everything's in the description. I even put um, the date and um, my email in the title. Everything's written in the description. Um, so here are a couple of oldies. This one you could possibly call a bead enhancer. Um, so, I mean, so you would hang it, I guess, on a on a beaded necklace like that. That's not a good example, but I mean, that's basically what you do. This is a honker. Look at that glass piece right there, faceted on both sides. It looks like it might be a morning brooch, um, but again, it's a brooch with an enhancer and this one would be 10. And this is a largey. This one is two inches, two inches high, but about an inch and a half wide, maybe a little bit more. It's a polishing cloth. Still trying to find my way around here. Gotta find my polishing cloth. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Nice big old brooch. There you go. Timestamp, screenshot. And I have some Toledo wear here. It's a Toledo butterfly. All my Domicine Toledo wear brooches are 12. So that's Toledo wear. Domicine, um, I'll show you an example. This is not in this particular sale. But Domicine is etched steel and then they put either gold leaf or some sort of gold fill in here on that Domicine. This belongs to a set, so I can't. <laughs> but, um, so that's true Domicine. This is true Domicine right here. You see that, the way it's made. Toledo Ware is actually like pressed metal, and then they take color and colorize it. So they're two different things. You have Toledo wear and you have Domicine. But if you're talking about Domicine in general, this would fall under that umbrella, this butterfly. Let's see how close I can get. Still stay in focus. There we go. So that's my little Domicine. So this one, this one's about an inch and a half wide by, or yeah, inch wide, inch and a half high. Cute little butterfly, just adorable. She's 12. I have a $10 JJ. JJ Lion, really good condition.
there's the back and there's the front see what he looks like on with a darker background he's just amazing brushed gold tone finish and he is there's the hallmark right there JJ just really cool I love this guy ten dollars and he's three inches wide by an inch and a half high so there you go get yourself a JJ brooch Yeah, my dog is barking, but at least she's in the backyard. I have a dove. Love of a dove. And this one has, uh, it sticks, the pin sticks out a little bit. So it does show some age. Silver tone. Size on this beautiful creature a little it's over two inches maybe two and a quarter by and she's wide I mean she's two and a half wide by two and a quarter a big one ten dollars she's cool kind of a statement piece I would say This is one of those Russian um, pieces. This is really intricate. Let's put this on here. Just really pretty. Lots of detail, hand painted. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I should turn off the. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Come back here. Turn off this so there's not so much reflection. But yeah, yeah, you can see the detail see how close i can get you can still see the detail so seven dollars for this beautiful round it's about two inches round that's really cool i have a lot of these that's why the price is so low so if you're interested in more let me know i even have some that are signed I have this cute poodle and make sure the pin works and you're gonna be a bit of a pistol aren't you yeah this this one the pins not working oh yeah here there we go pin works so I have the the pins not in great shape so that's why the price is seven oh let me turn the light back on so you guys can see but there's a lot of wire work on this one and there and his little nose looks like it's got some wire to it but then you know he's nosy and here is there's three stones for a collar see how close I can get so that you can see any detail there we go and here is the side It's about two or an inch and a quarter by two inches high. Really cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I think I have a few more. Um, I'll get to the Avon ones. Because I know there's Avon collectors out there. Here we go. These are two identical Avon bracelets and they're $10 each. And this one has six charms. Um, most of them are marked Avon, if not all of them. Yeah, Avon, 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 <laughs> Avon and Avon, yes. And they're both the same, I believe. So I'll grab the other one, oops. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. There's the... There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. It's got a telephone over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
on that one. And this one, I put together. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are $10 each. That's a hell of a deal for Avon. Vintage charm bracelets. And the size is that was me, but it wasn't what you think it was. This one measures uh, a hair over, well, it could be a little longer than seven inches. Seven and a half, I would say, or seven and a quarter on each. So yeah, those are great. And they do show some wear. I mean, people wore their jewelry. So $10 each, cool. And remember, buy four, get one free. Put it this way. It's a little amber piece. And I do have this one's a plain one. This one I would do for five. There's no mark, but it's it's got this cute telephone on it. And it's a nice vintage piece for five dollars. Email, screenshot, timestamp. Shipping starts at $5. This is kind of a, a different one for me, and it looks like not everything's there. And I don't even think if it's, doesn't even look like it's correct. So there's something wrong with this, and it's not sterling because I checked. Their whole thing's magnetic. So um, I'm going to put this one aside. If you're interested, let me know. I could probably do this for five as well. And this one is in really bad shape. There is a lot of wear on this guy, and I would do this one for five, even the chain's in bad shape. But it is, and it's got four charms on it. And my last charm bracelet is the Ten Commandments. And it jingles. Let's count and make sure all Ten Commandments are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Commandments. All in the hearts. And it's all written there in case you need to refer to it. But yeah, it's definitely got that cha-cha going on. You imagine being in Bible study and every time you turn a page. <laughs> but there you go. This one would be 10. And I think we're at the end. So yeah, if you're interested, be sure to email me. I'm Jeanette at Janda Panda Treasures. And uh, you can email jandapanda at comcast.net and uh, screenshot, timestamp, all appreciated. Um, and yes, I mean, email, I do need the date of the video, which is in the title. And my email is also in the title, and there's a big description in the description box. So be sure to, you know, if you have any questions, you can look there or you can email me. I don't mind repeating it. So, you know, go for it. You know, what did you say? <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, there's... And sometimes I'll put links in my uh, description for other YouTubers that I've been watching. Um, and I'll mention them in the... Um, in the video. And, you know, if I have it, I will mention somebody. Well, it's going to have to be next video because I don't see it. So, because I got this beautiful Swarovski elephant that Dana sent me, and I want to show it. Dana sent that she won it as a giveaway um, on another video, and I will find that vid. I will find the Swarovski 
elephant bracelet and I will show it and I will feature that YouTuber. It's Timeless Jewels by Deb. Deborah. Timeless Jewels by Deborah. If I can think of it, I'll put her, just to remind me, I will put her, in, I'll link her here. I do want her and um, Fun Surprises to get up to uh, 400, so I'm going to try and work out some sort of a incentive, because I want to get to 400 too, so I want to be on a subscription drive, and I'm working on filling jewelry jars with pretty, pretty things, and again, it's not junk, it's just pretty pretty stuff, stuff you'd enjoy. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. So, yeah, it's it's a constant. But, yeah, I, I do want to get some more um, um, subscribers, so I'm trying to think of ways to do that. And, um, you know, everybody's got their own way of doing things. Um, so, and I will be on live auction next month after the holidays with Sue from Denim to Diamonds. So I'm really looking forward to that. And um, that should be a lot of fun. So yeah, there'll be more about that later on. Anyway, thank you. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. I have, I have an earring bag here that's super heavy. So this earring bag right here, and they are matched earrings all of them. You get the fun of maybe trying to find all the matches. But, and here's one that's a 1928. This whole bag's 20 bucks. $20. There's some sticking out here to redo that. But um, the whole bag's 20 bucks. And um, I would, um, I, I would, I mean, there's, it's over a pound. I would have to ship it priority. But, you know, um, but then if you buy anything else, this is part of the five dollar five by four get one free deal. So if you bought this and three other items, you get another item free. So I mean, for eight dollars to ship all of this is really inexpensive. And there's some new things here too. I don't know how many that is, but you know, 1928. I mean, um, just a lot, a lot to go through to remake. There's some fun things in here. So yeah, let me know if you want this. I'm working on another bag of earrings. So, and they're all matched pairs. So, yeah, let me know if you want that. Um, anyway, on that note, I will bring out Marilyn to say goodbye. And I'm gonna have to find Sophia. <laughs> anyway, you all, thank you so much. Have a good evening.